So, let me circle back to the Phoenix Suns. Because the Phoenix Suns have made it to the NBA Finals for the first time since 1993. 28 seasons ago. And how did the Phoenix Suns get here? Well, let's talk about it, okay? Because last year, in the bubble of the 2020 playoffs, where the Suns didn't quite qualify for the playoffs because their record was not good enough, but in the bubble, they had an opportunity to compete for a playoff spot. They obviously didn't make it. But I think in the bubble last year, the Phoenix Suns, as a collective unit, they gained confidence. They really did. They went undefeated in the bubble. And they proved to themselves that this team is not only talented, but we can win at a high level. Like I said, that team that gave that team a lot of confidence. And then when you add a guy like Jay Crowder and you add a guy like Chris Paul, two veteran players that have played a lot of basketball, Jay Crowder, a veteran role player, Chris Paul, a veteran all-star level player, then you really think this team can take off, you know? And these two guys have been so critical for the development of a guy like Devin Booker, of the develop for the development of a guy like DeAndre Ayton, a former number one overall pick that has really blossomed into his own in the playoffs. You know, Mikel Bridges is playing well. Cameron Payne is a good young player that has spoken very highly of Chris Paul and Jay Crowder. And you also have to give Monty Williams a lot of credit, their current head coach. Monty Williams is among one of the best head coaches in all of basketball. Okay, he has established a great culture in Phoenix. Two years in, he's led this team to the NBA Finals. That is astonishing. And what's crazy about this is, look, I felt the Phoenix Suns were going to be a good team. I felt they were a legitimate playoff team. But I just felt, okay, this team hadn't made the playoffs in, what, 9, 10, 11 years. And, okay, you add Chris Paul, but, you know, baby steps, baby steps. This team has to learn how to win. Not only did this team make the playoffs, this team goes to the NBA Finals. The first year Chris Paul gets there, that just goes to show you how valuable a guy like Chris Paul is and how talented Devin Booker is and how good this roster overall is. And you have to give the Phoenix Suns front office and scouting department a lot of credit because this team is very talented. And also, the Phoenix Suns showed that winning in the regular season matters. They had home court advantage throughout most of these playoffs, and they're going to have home court advantage in the finals. I think that's going to be a huge difference as to why they potentially will win the series in six games versus Milwaukee, you know. And I will also say, you need to get some breaks in reality, okay. You know, the Brooklyn Nets, it seemed like everything was working against them for some odd reason. They couldn't quite get breaks. They, could, they couldn't quite stay healthy. Couldn't quite get the chemistry down, you know. Kevin Durant's foot is on the line for the game-winning shot when they could have been in the NBA Finals potentially, you know. Whereas with Phoenix, they get an injured Lakers team. They get an injured Denver Nuggets team. They get an injured Los Angeles Clippers team. Now, I'm not saying Phoenix isn't great, but you mean to tell me they don't benefit from those breaks? They definitely do. So, look, the Phoenix Suns, they've had an incredible season. They've added talent to this roster in Chris Paul and Jay Crowder. The guys that, are, that were in the building initially got better and better and have, and have developed, and they're well coached. So this Phoenix Suns team, whether they win the NBA Finals or not, I'm forever going to remember them because the turnaround from where they were a couple of years ago to where they are now has been astonishing. And you have to give Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and this front office a lot of credit, along with the rest of the players on the roster as well. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see 
or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.